They done messed up now. They done gave me the keys to the gate in Kansas. Let's go hunting. Some gale force winds, possible rain coming in tonight. They done messed up now. They done messed up now. They done gave me the keys to the gate in Kansas. They have given me the keys to the gate in Kansas. We just rolled in. We uh, drove all day yesterday from Montana, got here at about 2.30. And so we just rolled into the farm. We're gonna uh, try to get in here and hunt this afternoon. It's raining got some cool temperatures it's raining but we're gonna go in some of the cameras have got kind of pushed around and one of them's out of battery so we're gonna run in and fix the cameras up we got a good strong north wind so we're gonna hope that all the the work that we did about a month ago is gonna pay off where we can just kind of run in and hunt there's been some bucks showing up so you know so it's uh good a time as any it's it was 95 degrees here yesterday and it's like 54 right now here so good conditions for mid-october hopefully uh one of them big boys that's been showing up on the camera will show up and we can keep the momentum from montana rolling one thing i've learned in kansas especially if you ain't baiting, you're waiting. Give them, give them a little apple goodness. Looks like we could get rained out tonight. We just went in there and checked on everything, checked on the stands, fixed some of the cameras, and it's been uh, it's been on and off raining all day. But I just uh, looks like we got a bunch of bunch of uh, yellow and red on the radar coming right for us. So might get rained out tonight, which is a bummer. We've only got a limited amount of time here in Kansas. We're gonna hunt here for two or three days and then head up to Nebraska, but not really worth it to go in there with all our camera equipment and just get drenched the whole time. So we'll, uh, we could use this day to go back and edit at the hotel room, get all the shows caught up from Montana and regroup tomorrow. So we're gonna watch the radar for a few more minutes and just kinda see what it's gonna do, but I think we're gonna get rained out tonight. First set in Kansas. I got in yesterday and took some cameras, checked a couple stands. Ended up getting rained out. It was a pretty, pretty solid, steady rain all day, but we got better conditions as far as that goes. It's a little warmer today, but uh, we got a good, good wind, south wind, for the same spot where we killed last year. So we're going get in there I'm gonna give the old Hoy a couple rips real quick we should be good but I'm gonna check it anyways just for my confidence let's 
go hunting. up to 38 mile an hour wind tonight but we're headed into a spot we just came in and hung the stand a little bit earlier there's been a good buck in here the last two nights i think he's a i think he's a six by six i'm not sure he's got some kind of shorter fours so we're gonna go in and see if we can get a crack at him he's a huge body deer, but we got uh, some clouds rolling in, and uh, they're calling for possible hail, and just some crazy weather, possibility even tornadoes, what they're saying. So, I'm just gonna get in there and sit it out as long as we can. We'll be safe if it gets crazy, we'll get out of there really quick, but we'll see. I know the Kansas wind doesn't bother these deer. I think they move even better actually when it's windy. So, catch up with you guys shortly. Second set in Kansas. We're in this little spot right off the edge of this pasture. It's kind of tight in here. Just a good little travel corridor. So we probably won't get a lot of pre-roll of them coming. They'll be on top of us, but we've got this one little opening right here. It should be pretty good. We shall see.
Ba. Look good. They look good. This baby first buck in Kansas. I got a toe tag too. She's heart shot. <laughs> oh my gosh, what an unbelievable afternoon. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Whew. All right. Had a heck of a night in Kansas. Look back at the footage, the shot on the buck looks pretty good. Maybe, I don't know, maybe just a touch back. So I think he's gonna be a dead deer, but we're just gonna, I know this doe's dead right here. So we're gonna go get her first, just to give the buck a little bit extra time. So, Whew, yes, I'm freaking pumped. I'm freaking jacked. Right here. Right here. Right here. Here she is in the thickest crap. Let me see if I can't drag her out. Whew. Big dozer. I'm gonna mark her right here on Onyx. We can come right back to her. Here's my arrow right here. Looks good. Good bit of penetration. I mean, that's that should be money. That tree about to fall down. Nice bright red blood. I'm just gonna stick it in right here. We'll come back and get it. Looks like he ran right through here. I think he went right through here. Good blood. Oh yeah, that's what I like to see. Look, there that joker is right there. He ran halfway to the truck. Dude, I'm talking about a tank. I'm talking about a tank, son. Good grief. This looks like a daggum murder scene right here <laughs> look at the body size on this joker oh that's him good grief first kansas buck right here he's a daggum good one too man i couldn't be any more happy is that cool or what he read the script man he read the dang script. Couldn't ask for any more. We've had an unbelievable last week. My first Montana buck. Now my first Kansas buck. Man. Thank you. 
Thank you for hanging in there with me. As always, got to thank Bill. This is his, him and Tyler's lease. And so we came up here about three weeks ago and did a bunch of work, put out some cameras, feeders, and stands, and just got everything set up. And they allowed me to come out here and get a crack at one of them first. So just unbelievable. Big old mature Kansas buck. We even got them before the weather came in. That's a daggum tank, isn't it? That is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, golly, man. Good job. Look at that thing. Nice. Nice for you. God. Unbelievable.